Nope, that's not working. Oh, oh my God, am I doing this correctly? <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to the first segment of Can I Cook It? I'm your horrible cook, Nathan Figueroa. Nah, I don't know about that one. I don't think I can do that. It's just too weird. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today is a do-it-yourself challenge video and we're gonna attempt to make a giant pretzel, something you guys have requested about a dozen times on previous videos. So today is the day we're going to attempt to make this beast. So instead of going to Walmart, we went to Publix and we picked up the ingredients that I need, which was milk, cookie sheet, baking soda, flour, cheese, yeast, and measuring cups to accurately measure the ingredients so you guys don't get pissed at me for putting too less or too much. So I've never made dough from scratch. This will be interesting if I can actually pull this off. And that's why I'm a horrible cook because I have a feeling that it's not gonna go right. Even though I have instructions, I have a feeling it's not gonna go right. But let's get right into making this. So the first step is to pour two and a half cups of flour into this bowl. This is measured one cup, two cups, two and a half cups of flour. Next we need one cup of milk and we gotta heat it up in the microwave. So we have our warm milk right here. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of yeast. Oh, that looks weird. I think I may have done it incorrectly already. <laughs> One teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of butter. And the next step is to stir all the ingredients up. And it doesn't matter if it's lumpy, at least that's what the directions say. Ugh. That's not working. Oh my God, am I doing this correctly? It's like stuck all over my hands. I'm gonna let it sit long enough. I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh my goodness. We're having technical difficulty. Take two. So we're starting all over once again, but I'm going to speed up the process. I obviously did something wrong. The milk is supposed to go in first. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of dry yeast. And let it sit for 10 minutes. A few moments later. Add salt, butter, and half the flour right in there stir it in like so then add the rest of the flour like so so i think that we have the dough all set and ready i don't know it's the best i can do i already messed up one it's not sticking to me which is great all right so the next step is to put it in this bowl i have a little bit of olive oil in there and mix it around grab a damp towel and just put it right over it and let it set for about one hour while the dough is rising we're going to go ahead and put a few cups of water in this giant bowl. We need one and a half tablespoons of baking soda, which is going to give the pretzel the look that pretzels have. This is kind of a weird bowl to be stirring. And we're gonna go ahead and set the baking soda water aside, and then we have to wait for the dough to finish rising, which is gonna be like an hour. One hour later. One hour later, our pretzel has, oh shit. So our dough looks like it has doubled in size, kind of. I think it has, yeah, that's a lot of dough. Put it out right here, hopefully it does well. This is the part where I have to roll it into a giant pretzel. It's, it's working, it's not, it's not nearly as sticky as it was. But... We're gonna go ahead and um, start shaping. I go like this, I do that. Okay, yes. I'm supposed to put it in here, but I don't know how it's gonna, it's gonna stick this right in here. So our pretzel is looking very deformed, but I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm going to leave it like that because we, we get it. It's a pretzel. Now the next step is to go ahead and get some of this coarse salt right here. Put it right on top of there, just as much as you want. Put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at 450 degrees. A few moments later. Let's see what this pretzel looks like. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. I really like this. I have melted butter right here. The last step is to pour it right on top of it. I don't have a brush, so I'm just gonna use a spoon and just kind of like wipe it on there. This is kind of cool. I like it. You see how I always get excited at the end of these videos when it somehow comes out kind of like the item it's supposed to look like. So it is the moment of truth to taste this pretzel. First, let me show you it in all its glory. It is a weird looking pretzel. It doesn't even look like a pretzel. 
Um, kind of, sort of, I don't know. And so it's like, it kind of just like did something weird in the middle of it. For aesthetics, I'll give it like, out of five, I'll give it like a two. Okay, it is time to sink my teeth into this giant pretzel. Five, four, three, two, one, my timer has started. This is what the inside looks. It's nice and soft. I have cheese right here. I think I should try it without cheese first. First of all, I made this dough from scratch, which is unbelievable. I've never made dough from scratch. I've never even thought about it. It tastes good. Like, I, I'm happy about this. We got another huge piece right here. The cheese makes it really good. Hmm. I think from now on, instead of buying pre-made dough, I think I'm just gonna make it. You know, I say that now, but during the process of making the dough, it's miserable. I think there's a sweet spot to make dough not stick to your hands. Because what I had to do to get it to not stick anymore is add more flour, which is I think you're supposed to do anyway. I don't know. I'm a horrible cook. And I'm sure some of you guys will let me know how to make dough correctly. You know, we live in a society of social networks, and Twitter pages and Facebook, and that's, that's fine and stuff, but you know, we have contact with our work associates, our family, our friends, and um, yeah, it seems- By the way, a few videos ago, I mentioned, it was the mukbang video, I mentioned that I had been to jail, and that was a really popular question. A lot of you guys don't know why I've been to jail. So long story short, I've been in jail for stealing cars, and there's a lot of other little things, but if you guys really wanna know, I have a playlist um, on my page, and it, I go into details about things that I've been through, and just like my attic life, just crazy stories. It took me five minutes to think how to say that, because I didn't wanna give you guys too much, but I didn't wanna give you guys too less, so I think that was good. Mm. Okay, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was a giant pretzel, which was fun to make, also frustrating. The more I do these, the more I'll learn, the better I'll get, and sooner or later, I'll be a good cook. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for the continued support. You guys are awesome. If you liked the video, you could slap that like button. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Next week, we make pickles, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. That was close. Ain't no pickle gonna get me.